Oh, hi. Thanks for stopping by. So, what's happening today? Well, today it's kind of a rainy day. It really is a rainy day. So, I'm not going to really, really do anything on the tractor, on the machine today. So, I'm coming to you from my garage, my lair. Normally, I would have the garage door open when it's raining because I really enjoy it. But for filming purposes, yeah, we're just going to keep it shut. So, what we do when it rains? Well, I like to tell a story, okay? So, don't get too excited. It's not that great of a story. But anyway, I call the story My Journey to Appendix Carry, okay? So, for those of you that don't know, you might ask, well, what is appendix carry? Appendix carry has to do with your appendix, like you're like actually on you, your appendix to right here, right? In this general area. And having a holster that goes right here. And then carrying your weapon right there. Appendix carry, okay? So this is my story, my journey to get there, okay? So I did, you know, I did some time uh, in the service, you know, that's cool, whatever. And I was used to always having a weapon on me, whether it be uh, an M4 uh, carbine, uh, uh, an M240 Bravo, cool, very cool stuff, uh, medium machine gun, and uh, or an M9 Beretta, you know, right here on an outside the uh, waistband holder. I always had something on me. And then, and so when I got out, I was like, well, I enjoy having a weapon. I enjoy, I enjoy having the means to protect myself. So I'm going to carry. And I'm not going to open carry. I'm going to conceal and carry because I think when you open carry, you just draw attention to yourself. And I just like the like I said, I like having you know the idea of having a weapon on me because I like to protect myself uh, and my family. And um, you know that's just my natural right. So we, that's a whole other thing. I'll, maybe I'll do another video on that. So anyway. I need to carry a weapon, right? And at the time, my pistol uh, of choice was a, uh, it was a very nice, it was a Springfield Armory 1911 operator, it was called, super duper gun, whatever. And I had this holster, and I don't have it here anymore, I had this holster that um, was leather, held, obviously held the pistol, didn't hold anything else, like a magazine or anything like that, and it went, it was called a four o'clock, okay? So right here, right after, you know, 12, one, two, three, four, it went up to four o'clock. And that's where I carried it for a while. And then, so, but I, when I went to the range and I would draw it and I would shoot and then I would just set it down. Reload magazines, shoot more. So I'm like, well, I need to reholster, okay? So, well, why would I need to reholster? If I was concealing and carrying a weapon and I had to draw that weapon for some reason, what would be the need to reholster it? Because a lot of people make that argument. Well, I don't know. I might need to reholster that weapon to administer aid to somebody. Okay, or I might need to reholster that weapon to, to carry something, I, I don't know. But with a leather holster, especially at the four o'clock, taking a weapon, such as the 1911, and trying to put that in is very dangerous because the leather in your belt, it closes it, okay? So I was like, I need to try something else. So I looked at a company called Alien Gear. At the time, I think they're like an upstart company. And this is the Alien Gear holster that I bought. I don't know what it's called, the actual name, but the company is called uh, Alien Gear. And so, you know, a couple cool things about the Alien Gear holster that I, that I liked, okay? So I have a hard shell here on the outside. Um, it's not Kydex, it's, but it's, um, it's plastic that the guys, the Alien Gear said, if you ever break it, they'll replace it for the life of the holster. So I thought that's pretty cool. And then you have like this leatherette, it's not real leather, but leather inside. So. And I wore it at the three o'clock, you know, concealed, obviously. I wore it at the three o'clock. And you can tell, you get a weapon here. Weapons have been checked, they're cleared, you know. You could reholster it. It doesn't close on itself. And it's pretty, it's pretty firm in there, okay? But you can also see this flap would shut. So here, it would be kind of difficult to reholster sometimes. But I got a lot of use out of this holster. It was good to me. I have no problems with Alien Gear stuff. Um, this is where it starts to get interesting, okay? So, a little bit ago, I saw one of my buddies um, uh, from my time in the Army, and uh, you know, we talked about uh, weapons and carrying and stuff all, all the time via text message or social media. And uh, he's watching this, he knows who he is. And 
we talked about carrying like it in face to face and I showed him like, yeah, you know, I got my alien gear right here, you know, pretty cool. And he's like, yeah, I've got, I'm carrying this right here. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what are you, are you carrying? What, what are you doing? He goes, I'm carrying my uh, Bach 19 right here. I go, you carry appendix? He goes, uh, yeah, I do. And I was that guy. I was that guy. I, I said, aren't you worried about shooting off your junk or your femoral artery? He goes, no. I'm not. So let's think about it. If you carry appendix and you're carrying right here or right here, how, whatever you're going to do, and if there's a catastrophic problem and your weapon discharges, your femoral is pretty much right here, and then the guys are over here, right? So it's going to go straight. You're going to probably miss everything. Now I know there's other ways you, you can carry slightly here, slightly here, but that's not the point. The point is, if you have a properly functioning weapon, such as this Glock right here, it cannot go off unless that trigger is pulled. No matter what I do to it, no matter whatever I do, I hit it, it's drop it, the weapon will not fire unless that trigger is manipulated. So what you do, you get a quality holster. This is a T-Rex Arms Raptor. This is a quality holster and the weapon locks in there, you can see I can't get to that trigger, okay? So, and then it goes right here. So you just get into the mindset, and I was like, wow, okay. So, and I've been bugging him lately. I've been like, so I'm thinking about carrying an appendix. He's like, look, either do it or you don't, okay? So an advantage of appendix carry is you can get shots off very quick. You can, like, if you're in trouble, people are approaching, bad people, you know, whatever. You can get shots off more quickly and more accurately than drawing from the three, especially drawing from the four. Or even some people go to the small the back with these things. What, that's fine. You know, you do what you want to do. I am moving, to, I have started. I carry, a, I've been a, carrying appendix for two weeks now. So it, I'm all about it. Um, you know, there's some things you got to learn. You got to take more care when you holster your weapon, okay? And when you unholster your weapon, you just have to be careful, okay? But other than that, once that weapon is in that holster, it is inert. It is safe, okay? There's no, this weapon can't go off. It can, it simply cannot. Now, I'm speaking of Glock only, you know, Smith & Wesson, Sig Sauer, I'm sure they're, they're safe, they're great, but I'm, I know the mechanics, I know how Glocks function. It, it can't go off, okay? It can't go off. Now, under the sa a sad story was, and I, I don't remember the exact day of it, but there was a church shooting in Texas maybe a year or so ago, and it was all caught on camera, and you saw, you know, the, the killer walk into the church. The first guy that saw him, the first armed citizen that saw him, went for his weapon, and he, God love him, right, tried to do the right thing. He was at the fore, and the killer saw him while he was going for it, and the killer got him and shot him, dead. The other guy was carrying appendix and he came out very quick and dropped the guy with one shot, right? One shot to the head. So obviously he was, you know, very well trained. So I'm going to appendix. That's my rainy day story. And now I have some footage of me um, working it for the really the first time uh, working it at the range. So uh, hope you enjoy that. Okay, so this will be using the uh, T-Rex Arms Raptor. Uh, this is without the light. Uh, this will be from cold. I haven't shot anything uh, in a while. I have not warmed up at all. So this will be from cold. So there's my target right there. Let's see. Okay, so now this will be with my uh, 508 holster, 508 brand. This is a light bearing holster, so it's a little bit bigger. So you can see I have the light on my weapon, which I really like. So we holster. And we'll take some shots.
The more I practice with this going appendix, then I can start working in reloads and, and whatnot. But uh, I mean, if I carry outside the waistband and what it's, I mean, obviously it's a little bit easier. This though, I, I, I'm converting. I like it. So make sure it's, make sure it's secure, right? Well, it is, it has these two strong clips on this well-made blue alpha gear belt. So, you know, jump, jumping around, yeah. You know, all that stuff. I can bend over, I can do whatever. Has not moved. The trigger, I can't get to the trigger. It's secure. The weapon is secure. I also just want to take an opportunity since I'm out here to test uh, my uh, G34. This is my personal like home defense uh, pistol. I love this pistol. It is such a sweet shooter. It's a little big to carry. I can carry it, but uh, this is what's on uh, the nightstand. I do have a big light and a laser combo, but I can't find a holster for it. So it rests on the nightstand, uh, ready to rock. But uh, since I'm out here, let's, uh, let's test out some hollow points, make sure they work. You know, you always got to test your ammo. This G34 is so good. I love this pistol. I love it. Now, a buddy of mine is kind enough to let me take some shots with his brand new G19X. I'm a little jealous of this one. This one's cool. I mean, it's this is a nice, nice uh, brand new Glock uh, 19X. Let's put some rounds through it. Right away. Right away. This trigger is awesome. It's an amazing trigger. I know this is supposed to be about holsters and everything right now. I'm buying one of these. I'm going to get one. This is a this is a fun pistol to shoot. All day. All day. So I decided to push it and get some cutting anyway. And uh, it opened up on me. Pretty good thunderstorm. Uh, makes the tractor work a lot harder if it's wet and it's not affected. I, I feel like she's kind of staring down at me right now. She's not happy. So uh, yeah, kind of fun though, nonetheless. Nice day. Anyway, talk to you all soon.